Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This will be a weekly reading for the upcoming seven days. It will be a four card intuitive spread using a couple of decks. The first one being the Secret Language of Light Oracle followed by the Rider Waite Tarot deck. Um, I will list these below in the description box. Uh, let's get straight into it and see what's coming up for you potentially for the week ahead. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're heavily dominated by Capricorn, sign in your chart. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this may be insightful for you for the upcoming week. Let's see what's coming up. What's the weekly theme for Capricorn? Okay, the weekly theme, and it is Soul Tree. You're becoming more connected to your soul purpose here, uh, Capricorn. Trees are filled with wisdom, with wisdom. They're deeply rooted. They have many branches. It almost symbolizes the tree of life. Things are coming to full circle here. Um, important wisdom and knowledge is coming to you uh, this week. And it's going to have your feet um, planted on the ground here, firmly planted on the ground here. It's, a, it's an interesting kind of life force that's going to animate you and it's going to flow through you. Um, you know, it, it's quite a divine essence. And I think there's a lot of growth happening, especially if you are dealing with a fellow Earth sign. You've got the beautiful globe here. You've got the wings. It absolutely can be an air sign here as well. This is forming a solid foundation that enables you to reach higher and deeper. Now... Of course, you'll be in touch with your with your desires, with your goals, with your higher conscious. Um, but I love what this represents. I think there's a lot of growth occurring within you and also in the exterior, in, in your physical realm, in the physical realm. Um, there's a lot of growth, that there's a light um, and it's some, there's a lot of expansion because this is what soul treat, but it's also expansion of the soul. So it's a certain element. It's quite a strong spiritual element of you opening yourself up um, to your higher self or to someone very special around you. Let's have a look using the Rider Waite Tarot and see how this applies for you, Capricorn, in the upcoming week. Okay, you do have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Energy with the Six of Pentacles. This is a card of generosity. It is a card of giving. It is a card of restoring the balance. Um, Right now, it is a card of someone giving themselves to you or you giving themselves to them. I almost want to say it's like you've owed them here, uh, Capricorn. Um, you've owed them these words or you've owed them this gesture uh, because you are the pentacles. And I do believe this is you coming up and I do believe this is you being generous. So I'm not sure if this is you opening yourself up, opening up your soul, opening up your heart, opening up your mind to someone here. But I feel like this is owed from you. And only then, once you give your, that person your time, your love, your energy, your focus, um, I do believe that harmony will be restored here. Now, you also may be dealing with a Libra or you're coming into Libra and energy here because of the scales. Now, this would indicate that there's fairness and equality, reciprocity that needs to be employed into this connection here. I see that someone is in need of love, um, attention, solace guidance and i do believe they're coming they're coming to you um and they want to establish i do believe they want to establish equality with you it's an equal playing field it may also fall in the career sector because the pentacles traditionally do denote money finances and assets in the physical realm so perhaps someone is wanting to be on an equal playing ground um in equal playing field with you um i don't i think it's more spiritual nourishment to be honest I think it's someone that's wanting your time, that's wanting you as a um, a constant presence in their life because the pentacles do denote consistency, it's um, stability. And I do believe that this person is asking for this, uh, Capricorn. Um, you've owed them this though. And you know, the notion of the world, they want to create it's the notion of creation or things coming full circle. They want to create something magnificent here with you. Let's have a look at the next card. Okay, you have the moon card. This is the sign of cancer. Um, heightened emotion here with the moon card. Um, cancer energy here symbolizes 
um, someone need, needing love, needing nurturing. It is a divine feminine energy. The moon is a female. She rules creativity, um, intuition, love, um, something that can't be rationalized. It's a more spiritual and or emotional component here. You do have the world and you do have the moon. Um, this is employing your physical realm to align with your emotional realm. So someone... I think it's gaining exclusivity. Um, it's almost like they want their emotion to be expressed in the physical realm. Now, this could be also that they're wanting intimacy and affection with you because it's anything that can be experienced through the five senses here. The moon is also uh, sentimentality. It's emotional sensitivity. Um, it's a bit of emotional turbulence here as well. The animals, um, you know, the animals are very territorial. They go off basic instinct. So I feel like someone is using their instincts here, um, or this may be you, this this is maybe a message for you in the upcoming week that you need to use that emotional fluidity. And maybe it might have something to do with the Piscean new moon that has come in on March 6th, but certainly someone wants that same attachment from you, or perhaps the roles are reversed here, uh, Capricorn, and you are wanting this emotional attachment from someone around you, and it can be this Cancer. There's an attachment that's happening here with the moon card. An attachment that's going to resonate with your soul. So obviously this is inexplicable feelings. Um, someone can't help but feel drawn to you or vice versa because the two of you are so connected here. In, in fact, you're coming up as twin towers. And what's in the middle here is this intuition, is this emotion, and it's quite intense. And it's got you very alert. The animals are upright. They're looking to the moon. So it's obviously um, something that you're feeling that has you alert, uh, Capricorn. Suddenly you're feeling upright. Suddenly you're feeling like you're paying attention. Or someone wants you to be upright around them or towards them. They want you focused um, emotionally on them is what I'm seeing. It can speak about internal um, self-love and appreciation as well. If you have encountered or may encounter in the upcoming week an element where you feel quite detached from yourself, maybe you need to come to full circle. Maybe you need to do things just as we do things for our mind, we do things for our body. Maybe it's a message that you need to do something for your soul here, Capricorn. You also have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here with the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is someone who is hesitant to move forward. This is someone that's not confident in their decisions. Now he looks to the emotion card, the moon. Someone is unsure about how to articulate their feelings here. Or someone hasn't come to term with their feelings. Now, this could be you mentally, Capricorn. Maybe you haven't addressed something here. Um, or you're not sure about how you're feeling. Or you're not sure about how to press forward. The Page of Swords cannot press forward because he's too busy looking back. Now, it's interesting what he looks back on because he's looking back on an attachment. Some of you are looking back to, the, to a past attachment here. You may actually be comparing another soulmate or twin frame relationship from your past and implementing it. It's either you, perhaps you're getting nostalgic with the Page of Swords. Maybe this is memories, but there's an attachment, a bond, a strong emotional bond that you're looking back on. Memories could be resurfacing and it's had an impact on your soul and your subconscious on, your, on a higher level of your being. So it's obviously something or someone you were very, very attached to. Um, I'm not sure if there's certain memories that will come up from this person. Um, you may hear from this person or they may want closure to help them grow. Um, I honestly feel you're very deeply rooted in, in, in a connection here, uh, Capricorn. I do. The soul tree is all about that tree of wisdom. Um, either it's finding, you know, it's having um, somewhat, you know, um, epiphanies or realization or these kind of awakening feelings towards a connection here and you're not you're you're fearful or you're unsure um how to come with it mentally i think you're trying to be your practical self here and trying to rationalize and register these emotions mentally but i don't think this is something you can do right now right now i think you need to follow the fluidity of this connection i think this is what's going to get you moving forward
but I do believe there might be someone around you, it could be an air sign, that's feeling doubtful about how you feel. They need to see this Capricorn. They need validation from you. Um, and I think you owe it to them. You have something special here, whether it's a, uh, it's a friendship, it's a connection built on friendship, um, it's a soulmate in the form of a friend, a lover, um, someone you're attached to, someone that's helped you, someone that's helped you on your journey, on your soul's journey here. Um, and I do think this may come up for you in the upcoming weeks. So look, I will leave it at that Capricorn. I hope this reading has been insightful. I do thank you for watching and um, all the best. Have a lovely week and we'll chat soon. Thanks again, Capricorn. Bye for now.